Uh, okay, so today uh, we are going to uh, think about uh, a theme that is Jesus, the reliable stone. Jesus, the reliable stone. What was the last Sunday message? Who can remind me? Jesus is the everlasting rock. And then, so I think two, three weeks I have been preaching about the rock. So that was, yeah, yeah. Oh, the rock was cleft for us, men, and it was broken for us, men. And we were just thinking about how that rock, Jesus, was rejected by many other people, and how that rock was cleft for, for every one of us. And how it became an everlasting rock. Okay. Already the broken and the rejected rock is becoming the everlasting rock. So how it could happen. So that was the main message that we were thinking uh, in the uh, previous Sunday. You know why I was uh, talking about that. It is actually you know uh, we are facing many troubles and problems in our lives. Amen. So as uh, Joseph was sharing today, you know, uh, the people of Israel and even you and me, we are going through the troubles every day, every moment. We have many stress and many tension and many, many, many things that we are facing. And there are many challenges that we are facing. But in between that, I mean, what we can do is only one thing, that trusting in the Lord, who is the everlasting rock, for the people of God. How many of you believe that? Say hallelujah for that. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I mean, we are trusting in the Lord in all our situation. Right? You know, even though we are blessed, even though we are in a higher level, even though we are in a lower level, even though we are going through the struggle, struggles and troubles, we are trusting in the Lord. Men, we are blessing the name of the Lord and we are praising the name of the Lord and also we are trusting in the Lord and understanding that our God, Jesus, is the everlasting rock. Men, you know, after my message last week, uh, John Angle was I mean, coming to me and he was uh, telling me that, okay, Pastor, your message is very good, but the thing is, uh, I don't know how many of the people are grasping that, the, the real meaning of that. Pasalnya, <laughs> Sigarikian, the Nancy Girikin, the English Sigarikin, the Nicaretilla. He cake in the Vadangalaka number, Sigarikin, the number of the number of the other Jivatile, and Urtamaki Turka, the Mulas Ramikim, but Anna Kurani Grand Gitane. Okay, so John was saying that, okay, I don't know, Pastor, how many how many of them are receiving that, how many of them are um, like grasping the real meaning of the word. Amen. So believe one thing that this word has a power. Hallelujah. The word has a power because this word is coming from the almighty god the word is coming from the almighty god pastor may not be able to speak I men like uh, the uh, many other preachers okay the, the 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 elderly people those who are sitting here they may not be able to preach like the other great preachers but remember one thing even though if once a, a, a kid is coming here and a child child is coming here and when he is i mean saying a word or verse from the bible that has the power and personally, I believe one thing that, you know, when we are receiving or when we are listening a verse from a child's mouth, let us understand that even though that child is saying that, when it has a power. I mean, other number of issues, Sikanum, Uripache, a Kunyuda, one that a Sachim Parimba Parin, the Vacuum, Irikan, Namalod, all the other. Pastor, a person at the Nordic Athrik and other number of the Kalabadu, the Gatu, you walk it through day. So that is what we understand that God is able to speak to the people every moment through every person. 
through every person. So most of the time we are waiting that okay, let pastor preach, let pastor preach. Amen. Also, when pastor is preaching, I'll get something out of that message. Amen. So we are waiting for the PowerPoints here. We are waiting for the PowerPoints here. Okay. So the PowerPoints are there. So today I'm going to talk about men a, a, a different at the same time which is which is connected with the, the the previous messages that the main theme is that Jesus is the reliable stone on the basis of first Peter chapter 2 verses 7 and 8 okay Jesus is the reliable stone and the subtitle would be the reliable stone becomes a stumbling block a rock of offense Okay, so we will read that verses, maybe uh, uh, First Peter chapter 2, verses 7 and 8. Okay, then we will, I mean, go through those verses and we will understand, I mean, how the reliable stone became the stumbling block or how the reliable stone became the, the rock of offense. I mean, so we will read that verse maybe, First Peter chapter 2, verses 7 and 8. Okay, in English and also in Malayalam, somebody can read that, yeah. Okay, so let it be there. Okay, these verses are there. We know that these verses are there. Okay, walking like a cat. So now, when we think about when God is a rock and when God, Jesus, is a rock, and I already told you that the rock or the stone is an inevitable part of the life of people of Israel, especially from the Jewish people in the Old Testament, we understand they were giving more importance for the rock or the stone in their life. Men. And also, you know, for the Jewish people, Messiah was their rock of safety. Messiah was their rock of safety and they were always thinking about, okay, we have a God, we have an almighty God, we have a Messiah. That Messiah is the is the is the place of safety. That you know, whenever they were they were I mean in, in trouble, whenever they were going through the difficult situation, they were going to the rock of salvation or rock of I mean I mean safety or the everlasting I mean rock, the almighty God, and they were finding the rest in that. And they were finding the, the peace in that I mean rock. Amen. So that was the situation of the people of Israel or the Jewish people. But in the New Testament, Jesus is the rock of our salvation. Who is our Jesus? Jesus is the rock of our salvation. Okay? That's the reason that we are receiving Jesus as a personal savior. Okay? The people those who are sitting here, we already received Jesus as a personal savior and we are saying that Jesus is my savior. Right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is the savior? Who is your savior? Say loudly. Say loudly. Jesus is my savior. Because he saved me from the wretched, wretchedness of sin. Right? Okay? From the wretchedness of sin. And we know that when Jesus was saving me, I was not able to come to Christ. And I was not able to receive this presence. And I was not able to receive this salvation. But only by the grace of God, only by the presence of God, only by the blood of Jesus Christ, I mean, I am a saved person, I am a believer today. Hallelujah. And we are saying that we are the children of God. Okay? I am a child of God. Hallelujah. So that's the reason in, in the New Testament, you know, the New Testament writers also were quoting from Old Testament and saying, that the, the everlasting rock which is mentioned in the Old Testament is the, is the Jesus Christ in the New Testament. Okay, for example, Jesus in Matthew chapter 21, he was saying something about himself. You are not reading that already we read uh, I mean, in the last uh, I mean, Sunday, I think. Okay, in Matthew chapter 21, we understand Jesus is talking about himself. He was saying something else uh, in, the, in the previous portion. Uh, at last in, I think, in, 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 in 21 verse 42 or 43, uh, uh, Jesus is saying that, okay, I am that rejected stone, right? So, in the Old Testament, the people of Israel, the Jewish people, they were giving more importance for the rock. 
they were giving more importance for the rock you know everywhere they are using the rock and you are when when they are writing the the book also and when they are i mean uh, uh, building a building and when they are doing something they were using the stones they were using the stones that's what uh, i was preaching in rossel school you know last uh, i mean uh, two three sundays ago i was speak i mean speaking about the kilgal okay so you know when when they were crossing the jordan river you know the people i mean tall people were bringing the huge stone on their shoulder and they are bringing that stones into into gilgal and there and joshua was i mean he was placing that uh, i mean uh, uh, the stones there and they were praising god and they were remembering the presence of god they were remembering the miracle of god that's what the, that this this week we are celebrating the thanksgiving right we are celebrating the thanksgiving not only for cutting and eating the turkey but we are celebrating that we are remembering the mercy of god remembering the miracle of god remembering i mean this is the this is the week of remembrance amen so we are remembering the presence of god and the remembering that the provision of god hallelujah and you know when whenever we think about the old testament the old testament people were giving more importance for the for the stone or the rock and they were counting and considering god the almighty as their rock of safety and their salvation i mean even in 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 new testament in jesus i told you that jesus also was taking i mean uh, using that word that i mean he was a rejected stone but he now he became the corner stone or the top stone hallelujah praise the lord and he is mentioning about that and also paul in romans chapter 9 okay in romans chapter 9 apostle paul is talking and he is quoting something there and he is saying that jesus is the sampling block that that what, uh, that is what we are i mean going to think about okay so in romans chapter 9 apostle uh, paul is saying that jesus became the sampling block for some people sampling block for some people and Paul also in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 he says that i mean about Jesus the spiritual rock the spiritual rock that i mean that the rock was following all the people of israel from egypt i mean whenever they were in need of water i mean this is the rock that that, that which was providing water for those people in 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 1 Corinthians chapter 10 you know so the meaning of that is you know apostle paul is saying that there is a rock from the beginning till the end hallelujah there is a rock from the beginning till the end okay from the beginning that means eternity past and there will be a rock that is jesus christ he will be there in eternity i mean eternity future eternity past and eternity future okay i mean കഴിഞ്ഞു പോയ നിത്യതയിൽ മുൻപുണ്ടായിരുന്ന നിത്യതയിലും ഇനി വരാനിരിക്കുന്ന നിത്യതയിലും ആരുണ്ട് ഈ കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ സാന്നിധ്യമുണ്ട് അവിടെയും ആരായിരിക്കും യേശു ഹി വിൽ ബി ദി എവർ ലാസ്റ്റിംഗ് റോക്ക് hallelujah he will be the everlasting rock and the people of israel i mean from uh, not only people of israel the jewish people and all the people those who were starting from adam and eve they were always trusting in the almighty god jehovah and they are saying that okay i mean we have a rock and it is starting from the beginning and it is ending into the eternity that to, towards that place i mean the people of god are running hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah believe in that jesus and believe in that god almighty that he will take you into heaven into eternity hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah 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 that's the reason apostle paul in first corinthians chapter 10 i mean we are reading that he is talking about jesus jesus is the rock that the people of israel were receiving water when they were in trouble and also in peter's book in first peter chapter 2 okay in first peter chapter 2 about jesus peter says that the cornerstone jesus is the cornerstone and also a stumbling rock jesus is the cornerstone and a stumbling block okay so today we are going to uh, next uh, uh, um, uh, slide shine okay today this morning we are going to i mean think about how jesus became the reliable or trustworthy stone this is very easy to understand 
Okay, so we are going to study about how Jesus became the rock of offense. Okay, but before that, we need to know something that how Jesus became the reliable stone. Reliable stone in Malayalam? Asrai Ketaka Para. Okay, the trustworthy rock. Men, Namakasrai Kempatu Para. Okay. Uh, we are reading in, uh, in Isaiah chapter 26 that we have a rock that we can trust in. Okay? We have a rock that we can trust in or reliable rock. Okay. So, how Jesus became a reliable stone? The answer is there. Okay? Once he was rejected. Okay? You know, no one can become a famous person if he is not having any pain in his life. Okay? Without a pain, there is no gain. Right? Without a cross, there is no... Oh, you get it. Without a cross, there is no crown. Okay? So when you see that uh, uh, somebody is uh, holding the crown on the head, I mean, you are thinking that, like, oh, what a great man this. No, no, no. He was going through many painful situation. He was going through many difficult situation and he was not able to, I mean, come through those things. But I mean, when somebody were, uh, I mean, helping them or helping that person to come up and uh, I mean, they were supporting them and they came to this place and uh, they are holding that, I mean, what? What the crown, right? So, without a crown, there is no, without a cross, there is no crown. So, what happened was in, in the life of Jesus Christ. Okay? Yeshu Christu ne jeevathil nandhi sambhoichu. Yeshu Christu ne paladum, palari vendi idu. Rejecti idu. Alley? Thalli kalanyu. That's the reason now we can say that Jesus is a reliable stone. Right? Okay. Once he was rejected from his father, he was left alone. Okay? His father God on the cross, when, when Jesus was on the cross of Calvary, you know, when he was dying, father, father left him alone and father did not do anything. Okay? Angels could do many things, but angels did not do anything. His parents or I mean, Jesus' parents or Jesus' relatives or his friends could do many things, but they did not do anything and he was he was, I mean, he was standing there and he was, I mean, holding there, I mean, alone and he was facing the cross. I mean, so once Jesus was rejected by many other people, but at the same time we understand that today he is the reliable person. He is the reliable, I mean, rock, I mean, for you and me. Hallelujah. And once Jesus was accused, not only once, many a times, I mean, the people, the Pharisees and the scribes and the high priests and uh, the, the enemies of Jesus, they were accusing him many things, right? They were accusing him, I mean, Jesus many things. And they were saying, no, 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 you are not the son of, Je son of God. You are not from heaven and you are not a person who is supposed to have the authority over us. And you are not a person who is to, I mean, an advisor us. I mean, we have many other high priests and we have Pharisees and we have scribes and all other people are there. We have many knowledgeable people. But in front of them, Jesus proved that I am the Lord Jesus Christ. I came down from heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. During the time of crucifixion of Jesus Christ, all the world and all the enemies were thinking and they were laughing at him and they were saying, no, it is finished. Man, Jesus is not the Lord. I mean, that's the reason they were asking to Jesus. I mean, if you are the son of God, come down from the cross. Come down from the cross. That was, a, that is a provoking sentence. Okay, there is a provoking sentence, and it was, it was a temptation. Okay, and he was saying, or the, the people were saying and accusing him that okay, you are accused now, and you come down from the cross if you are a son of God. Okay, Jesus did not say anything. Jesus did not reply for that, and he was there on the cross. And after the death, and in the in the after the burial, after the third day, he proved that I am a reliable person now. Even though I was an accused person, even though I am a rejected person, now you can say that, okay, Jesus is the reliable person. Hallelujah. And again and again. I mean, he was emptied himself. He emptied himself. That means what? 
Amen. He was having all the facilities in heaven, right? That's what we're reading in 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 in, in epistles that you know he was having in in book of Hebrews that, that we are reading that you know, he was having all the facilities just like a god in heaven. Ale sorgathil endo naayirno. Ella mahi magalu bondaayirno. He was having that glory in heaven, but he left everything, leaving all the glory in heaven, coming down to the earth, and he became. And that means we are, we are calling that he emptied himself. I mean, I mean, then end up with that. Shunya, I mean, then that entire thing, um, crucial, marana tolam, and so on. All right, turn. So this is a process of emptying himself, right? You know, emptying himself. All of all of all of India. Onnu mila thavan pole. Ivo mila kijeni kya. Hallelujah. Think about the birth of Jesus Christ. He was having everything in heaven. He left everything there, all glory in heaven, and he came down to this earth. And at the birth of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, he was not having a place to be born, right? He was not having a particular place. He was not having a home. He was not having a small place to be born into this world. Hallelujah! That's what we understand. Even though Jesus was coming in that way, even though Jesus was born into this world, even though Jesus was emptying himself and coming down to save the people, now he says that I am the reliable person. I am the reliable rock that you can rely upon me. And once he was humiliated by the other people, Hallelujah! He was humiliated by the other people. His friends and all the, I mean, Pharisees and high priests and all the people, the enemies, and also from his family, also he was humiliated many a times. You know, he was humiliated, and I mean, Jesus was always, I mean, preaching, 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 and the people, some of the people there, they were asking some question to, I mean, Jesus. For example, I can tell you about uh, the death of Lazarus. <coughs> the death of Lazarus uh, during the death of Lazarus. One second. Now, what happened there? You know, Jesus was not there during the time of Lazarus' death. Hmm? So Jesus left there, and uh, these people were uh, giving the information that okay, uh, Lazarus is sick, and Jesus did not come back uh, to 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 visit them. And again, uh, the, the 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 news came that uh, Lazarus is died. Okay, even after that, also Jesus is not coming. Okay, after the burial, after the burial, on the fourth day when Jesus is coming there, think about the situation that the people, the Jewish people, those who are surrounding them, and the Jewish people, those who are standing there, and whatever they are thinking. Okay, some of the people are saying that okay, oh, this Jesus was here maybe a few days ago, and he used to visit this house every time, and he used to stay here, and he used to um, uh, uh, eat the food of uh, Martha and Mary, and this is a person now, you know, when he when they are in trouble, when they are in, I mean, when Lazarus is died, and when I mean Lazarus is buried, I mean Jesus is not coming down here. Okay? And he is away from here, and he is a, he is a, he is a, he is not a god. He is not a I mean a, a son of God, and he is a, just a man. That's the reason that uh, I mean he is not coming back. You know they were I mean uh, mocking. Maybe they may be mocking the the family Lazarus family and saying why Jesus is not coming down here. I mean, why Jesus is away from you, even though he was experiencing all the blessings from from your family previous day when in your trouble. Why he is not coming here? Hallelujah! Remember one thing. I mean, even though Jesus was humiliated in front of the people, even though Jesus was humiliated in front of the people, and he said, "I mean, after I mean reaching there, he said, 'Lazarus, come out from the tomb.' Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He said, 'Come out from the tomb.' And Lazarus came out from the tomb. Then Jesus. Is saying there now you can rely upon me because I am doing everything in right time. Jesus is doing everything in right time. You know we may be thinking, oh, this is the time that Jesus, you can do something here, and you will, you will, you will be famous, and you will be famous, and you will, I mean, say that like all the people, I mean, know you, and all people will say that like you are a great person. Jesus said, no, 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 I don't want to become. A famous person in that way, even though I am humiliated, 
Remember, even though I am humiliated, even though I am going down, even though the people are accusing me, even though the people are saying against me many things, I mean, I know that there is a, there is a day that Father God is going to raise me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ethra Barkadu Vishwasa Onda. Parapur number humiliated at Tona Rondo and the Barane, number Ames, Dr. Taita Pernavar at Namakatona Rondo Chalasameta, the Shimikata Gari Villa, Karta Namala Yertun Redoso Onda. The Yamala Manikan Redoso Onda. Hallelujah. The day that you are feeling that okay, you are humiliated among the people. Hallelujah. And you are nothing among the people. Sometimes we feel that nothing among the other people. Sometimes we feel that, oh, what am I to do this? Men, but God will strengthen you. Hallelujah. God will strengthen you. And God is saying that, Jesus is saying that, I am the reliable person now because I was once humiliated. I am a reliable stone now today. But because of because I, I was a rejected person once and I was a I was a humiliated person once and I was an accused person once and I was emptying myself for other people and also I went through the agony in different times. Then there is hallelujah today we have a message from Jesus. We have a message from the reliable Jesus and the rock. He says that man once I was going through the agony. Once I was going through the agony, you remember I mean, the agony that Jesus was going through, right? I mean, before his crucifixion, I mean, during the time of the crucifixion, after the crucifixion, how much pain that he was going through. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Even though, even though, even though he was going through the agonies, hallelujah. Ah, 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 I mean, hallelujah. I mean, moon of those and Gadim and Endium. We are third in the country of those on the Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Administration Ningle Parium, E. Parayana Mariamo, Astri Ketaka Parayana. We are part of our Maratrenda, Astri Pan, Asia Matram Ale. So we have a rock that which is reliable. Astri can put to Parayana. He log a little saga of Paragulum put to pillar the Pogum ball. He log a little saga of Paragulum. I mean, Sotram remove I Pogum ball. I'll marry Pogum ball. Salato. Mari Pogum Ball, Urikel Marata, Amen Urikel Mari Pogata, or Para Ilana Namlas Raikida. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How Jesus became the reliable stone. Tell me how Jesus became the reliable stone because once he was going through the agony and he was tested, he was tested by whom? Parisha Kapatam, I don't know. Yeshi Christo. I don't know. By whom? Satan tested him, right? Satan tested him. Father God tested him. Okay? The world was testing him. Pharisees and Christ and high priests were testing him. But Jesus said, I am overcoming all the tests of this world. Hallelujah. And standing there. Hallelujah. And Jesus is, I mean, saying that I am a reliable person because I was going through many tests. Hallelujah. The people, those who are going through the test in your life. Hallelujah. The people, those who are going through the troubles in your life. I mean, remember one thing that Jesus is standing in front of you. Jesus is standing in front of you and saying to you that I, mean, I am the reliable person because I already went through the test. Hallelujah. When Satan was, uh, I mean, testing Jesus, when, when Satan was testing Jesus, I mean, Jesus was, I mean, I mean, overcoming that with the word, right? With the word from the Bible. No? Every time, every time when Satan was, I mean, uh, making uh, some accusation on, uh, 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 on Jesus, and every time that Satan was uh, bringing some kind of, uh, I mean, offer to Jesus, Jesus, I don't want that. Because I know that you are testing me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I know that you are now testing me. And you are provoking me. And Satan was saying, if you do this, you will get this. Right? If you do that, you will get this. And if you jump from the top of the, the tower, I mean, the angels will come and hold you up. There is no problem. I mean, if you just bow down and uh, worship me, I can give all these things because all these things are belonging to me. If all of them are, 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 if all of them are
ഒന്ന് താട് വാണെങ്കി നമസ്കരിച്ചാൽ മതി എന്ന് ജീസസ് നോ 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 ഐ ഡോണ്ട് വോണ്ട് എനി തിങ് ഫ്രം യു ബിക്കോസ് ഐ നോ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ആർ യുവേഴ്സ് നാവ് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി മൈൻ വൺ ഡേ I mean, hallelujah, Jesus said, now I know that, okay, you, you take all these things, the worldly things, you take everything, you take everything, I don't want these things, I know that, I mean, I am the Lord of all these things. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the Almighty God. Jesus is the owner of all these things. I mean, to him, Satan is saying, oh, if you just worship me, I will give all these things. Jesus said, I don't want it. I don't want I have everything I mean I mean Satan said okay I will give you food and if you if you, sorry if you I mean I mean command to these stones these stones will become bread ha ee kallugalo rotta vaaku kalpichal ee kallugal endai therum appo mai therum ninakke ee 40 divasu upasam eduthittu ninakku venengil adu kaichittu jeevichu ode endha Jesus varne Jesus said I don't want your food i don't want your bread i mean you are talking about the worldly food but i have the spiritual manna from heaven from heaven hallelujah the people those who are i mean having and the people those who are receiving the spiritual manna from heaven hallelujah they will say to the world and they will say to the satan i don't want anything from this world i'm looking for word for heaven hallelujah hallelujah that's the reason now jesus became the reliable stone and once he was broken right he was broken and he was made perfect that we can trust in him hallelujah you know once he was broken avan endu idu tagarkapettavanaanu keto eh jeevithe tagarcha illade oru vijayam illa keto hallelujah jeevithe evadengil vijayikkana aagraham undo ഐ മീൻ നമ്മൾ അന്നേരം ഓർത്തോണം ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒക്കെ തകർച്ചയിലൂടെ നമ്മൾ പോകേണ്ടതായിട്ട് വരും അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞത് ദർ ഈസ് നോ ക്രൗൺ വിതൗട്ട് എ ക്രോസ് ഐ മീൻ സോ വെൻ ബി എ ബ്രോക്കൺ സം ടൈംസ് വെൻ ബി എ ബ്രോക്കൺ സം ടൈംസ് ദർ ഈസ് ജീസസ് ജീസസ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ദർ ആൻഡ് ഹി ഈസ് സെയിങ് ആൻഡ് ഹി ഈസ് പ്രോമിസിങ് അസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ കെൻ ഐ കെൻ ഹെൽപ്പ് യു ബിക്കോസ് ഐ വാസ് ബ്രോക്കൺ വൺസ് ആ ലൂയ ഐ വാസ് ബ്രോക്കൺ വൺസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ കെൻ സേ യു ദാറ്റ് ഐ കെൻ സപ്പോർട്ട് യു ഐ കെൻ എൻകറേജ് യു ഐ കെൻ ടേക്ക് യു ആൻഡ് ഐ കെൻ ഹോൾഡ് യു ഇൻ മൈ ഹാൻഡ്സ് ആ ലൂയ praise the lord hallelujah i mean how many of you i mean how many of you believe that jesus is holding us in his arms avante kaigalil nammale vahikkina kartava gatta nammale kartava hallelujah many times we are feeling that okay, i am alone i am rejected i am humiliated i am nothing in front of the other people and nobody is honoring me and i am nothing i am rejected i am humiliated i am emptied and i am tested and i am broken i mean hallelujah i mean i am rejected and accused hallelujah see time the spirit of the lord is saying to that person that you are not accused you are not rejected you are i mean just relying upon a person relying upon a rock that he can be a safety corner for you hallelujah sometimes you know sometimes we are feeling that okay, there is nobody to save me and there is nobody to i mean help me there, there is nobody to give me a safety ഹലലൂയ എന്നാൽ ആ സമയത്ത് കർത്താവ് പറയുന്നതറിയാമോ ഒരു നല്ല പാറ എവിടെ എഴുന്നേറ്റ് നിൽക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ആ പാറ നിന്നോട് സംസാരിക്കുന്നതറിയാമോ അതിനകത്തോട്ട് ഓടിച്ചെന്ന് നീ അഭയം പ്രാപിക്കണം ഹലലൂയ പിളർക്കപ്പെട്ട പാറ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ അർത്ഥം അത്ര എന്താണെന്നറിയോ കഴിഞ്ഞ ആഴ്ച അവൾ പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്തുവാ ഏ പിളർന്നിരിക്കുകയാണ് ആ പാറയ്ക്കകത്തേക്ക് നമ്മൾ ചെന്നാളുന്നുണ്ടല്ലോ ആ പാറ എങ്ങാടെയും നമുക്ക് സേഫ്റ്റി അവിടെ ഉണ്ട് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു നമുക്ക് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് സംരക്ഷണമുണ്ട് ഹലലൂയ ദ ക്ലെഫ്റ്റ് ബി ഫോർ എസ് ആൻഡ് ദ റോക്ക് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ക്ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഫോർ എസ് ആൻഡ് യു ഹാവ് സേഫ്റ്റി ഇൻ ദ ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് യു ഹാവ് സേഫ്റ്റി ഇൻ ദ ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ബി ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് യു ബി സേവ്ഡ് ഓക്കെ വി വിൽ വി വിൽ ഗോ ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഐ മീൻ പോർഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദൻ സെക്കൻഡ് തിങ് ഈസ് ഹൗ ജീസസ് ബി കെയിം ദ സ്റ്റംപ്ലിംഗ് ബ്ലോക്ക് ആൻഡ് 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 um rock of offense okay endana aa vakyate enda kaanunna nammle second sorry second peter chapter 2 verse 7 um it says that you know vishwasikkana ningalkku amandhyathi undu vishwasikkathavarkku veedu padinavar thalli kalanja kallu thanne moolakkallum idarchakkallum tadangal paarayum aayirikkunu hallelujah so we were studying about the reliable rock okay asrayikan pattiya 
ഒരു പാറ ഇത്രയൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞാലും നിങ്ങൾക്കൊരു സന്തോഷമൊന്നും ഉണ്ടാകുന്നില്ല നമുക്ക് ആരുണ്ട് ആശ്രയിക്കാൻ പറ്റിയ പാറ ഉണ്ടെന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്ത് ആശ്രയിക്കാൻ പറ്റിയ പാറ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നിങ്ങളിരിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ കുഴപ്പമില്ല നിങ്ങൾ അങ്ങനെ ഇരുന്നോ അപ്പം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആശ്രയിക്കാൻ പറ്റുമെങ്കിൽ ആ കർത്താവിൽ ആശ്രയിച്ചോ ദൈവം നിങ്ങളെ വിടുവിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവാണ് verses 22 and 23 you know it namaku vishwasikkan pattatha oru karyam aanu ippidu endha nariyo aasrayikkan pattiya endana shashwadamaayi irikkunna oru paara engane aadu mattulla varku endaayittu maarne can you can you put that the first one first uh, slide those verses in hindi in english and malayalam okay so listen this verse okay so it says that to you who believe then this stone is precious okay vishwasikkana ningalkku endunde maanithi undu ennu parnal ee stone ningalkku endana precious aanu vilapidippulla aanu and but to those who do not believe vishwasikkathavarkku vishwasikkathavarkku endana eh it becomes a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense ah malayalathil endana moolakkal airna sadhanam endai thirunu idarchakkallum tadangal paarayumayittu maari men i'll be going little bit quickly now because of the lack of time okay so we will move on okay so why we are saying that you know we are saying that okay jesus is always approachable he jesus is always available and you can rely upon jesus at any time okay whatever the situation that you are facing you can rely upon jesus christ but some of the people jesus is becoming a stumbling block or tadangal paarayite eh silark endayittu maarunu kartava maarunu aarka maarune avadu undu ottri karyangal parayanundu maybe maybe i mean 3 or 4 5 points are there we are going into i mean quickly into that points okay so first thing first thing because of people's disobedience okay why the same rock the same stone is becoming a stumbling block or a a a a, a rock of offense the reason the first reason is in first peter chapter 2 verse 8 okay did you read that first corinthians 1 22 to 23 no uh, please read that also okay the same stone is becoming the corner stone for some people and the other people it is a stumbling block there are some reasons for that there are some reasons for that okay so first thing that we hit me to understand i don't have time to explain all those verses from first corinthian but we are going into the first point that it says that you know, because of the disobedience of the people because of the disobedience of the people i mean that stone became a stumbling block okay in first peter chapter 2 verse uh, 8 we are reading that okay and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense for they stumble because they are disobedient they are stumbling because they are disobedient avaru endu konde idari pogunu avarku endu konde idarchakkalayittu maari eh avaru deivathinte vadanam anusarikkathathu konde athre hallelujah for example people of israel when I mean, while they were disobeying god he was standing in front of them as a stumbling block and saying that you must be corrected hallelujah you must come back to the presence of god many times god was standing in front of them and saying you are wrong you have to come back you need to come back you need to come back and turn away from all kinds of sinful nature and you must be becoming a child of god you know many times god was standing ahead of them and saying that you are wrong I mean for example for example in numbers chapter 22 we are reading about the the prophet balaam and also the the the, the moabite uh, a king balak okay when we, when we got to numbers chapter 22 okay 22nd adhyayam sankhya pustaka 22nd adhyayam nammal vaaikkunna aare kurichu eh oru balakine kurichum or biliyamine kurichum okay malayalathil engane biliyamum balakum okay in english prophet balaam and balak okay balaam and balak okay it is very clear that we know that the the the, the event which is happening there you know what happened there in uh, numbers chapter 22 huh? uh the the balak was uh, uh, asking the prophet balaam you come and uh, just curse the 
the people of Israel. Okay? They were a, a, a huge, I mean, crowd. And uh, Balak was saying, you come with me and just, I mean, curse these people. Curse these people of Israel. Then he said, no, 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 I cannot come there. And I cannot curse these people of Israel because they belong to God. Then again, this man is compelling him, come, 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 come. Just curse these people. They, otherwise, they will get victory over us and just curse them. Then he was sitting in the presence of God and asking God, God, whether I should go or not. The prophet Balaam is asking God whether I should go or not. Okay, Okay, okay. Nalal mana sahaja, nalal baru ini. Nda, nanti pergi cie ini baru ini. Nalal mana sahaja, nalal. Entahnya arah itu baru ni berdiri. Nale, ini ni balap pun dewi cie ini. So, Prophet Balaam was asking to the Lord, "Oh Lord, can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Can I go?" God said, "No, no, no. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. That is my people. You don't. I mean, you don't have authority to curse them. Don't go there. Don't do that." Later again and again. Balaam, the prophet is asking to the Lord, can I go, can I go, can I go? Then God said, you go. But he was not able to, he was not able to curse the people of Israel because he was knowing that I cannot do that because these people belong to God. These people belong to God. I cannot curse these people. And even on the way, on the way, you read maybe uh, 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 Numbers chapter 22, verse, verse 22 maybe, yeah. 22, 22, yeah. So what is happening there? You know, who is standing in front of them? See, Balaam is traveling and uh, on the donkey and donkey saw that the angel of the Lord is standing in front of them. Okay? It says that when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his drowned sword in his hand, the donkey turned off from the way and went into the field. But Balaam struck the donkey to turn her back into the way. I mean, remember one thing? When we are doing some mistake, when we are going wrong, God himself will stand in front of us. And will say, no, no, this route is not right for you. This is not the route for you. And you have to turn from this place. And you have to go to other place. And you are not supposed to do that. Hallelujah. I mean, how many of you are understanding? You know, Balaam was not understanding that, but the donkey could understand. Right? Right? Balaam was not understanding that the angel of the Lord is standing in front of them. But donkey said, I cannot move from here. When we disobey the commandment of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the, 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 the rock of reliance is becoming, when the, 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 the rock of I mean, reliance is becoming I mean, uh, a, a rock of stumbling block or rock of offense. When we are disobeying the word of God. Because we are standing in front of us and saying that, okay, I'm offending you. I'm, I'm, I, I need to support you. I mean, you are doing wrong. You are doing wrong. Just like, I mean, in front of Balaam and in front of the donkey, the angel of the Lord was standing there and the donkey was not able to move forward. The donkey was not able to move forward because of the disobedience. Okay, we will go to the next thing. That because they pursue pleasing God by works instead of by, by faith. Romans chapter 9 verses 20, uh, 32 and 33. Yeah, read that verse. 
Great, thank you. See, what is what we are reading there? You know, when 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 people are, I mean, pursuing or uh, pursuing to please God by works instead of by faith, you know, God is standing there just like a stumbling block. Okay, what what do you mean by pursuing uh, uh, to please God by works and faith? Can we can we can we please God by our works? You cannot. But by what we can please God? By faith. Okay. For example, Saul. Paul. Saul or Paul. He was a great man. And he was always attacking the Christians. And he was always persecuting the Christians. We read in uh, Acts chapter 8 and 9. We read that uh, 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 Saul was I mean, uh, 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 persecuting the Christian people. And killing all of them. And he was a famous person. And he was so religious. Right? He was so religious person. And he was ready to die for the Jewish religion. He was ready to die for the Jewish religion. And he was... You, you can call him as a terrorist. Tevaravadi in the Venangal Ara Vilika. Shavilin Epom before his conversion. Conversion is Yasham Bulli Tevaravadi. Yendrivendi. Karthavendi. Hallelujah. He became, he was a terrorist even before his conversion. Okay. And after the conversion also, he is a terrorist for God, for Christ. I mean, so he was thinking, okay, by doing all these things, okay, I can please God. Hmm? He was just, I mean, walking and he was doing everything. He was persecuting the Christians and he was uh, pleasing the, the high priest and he was pleasing the, the other authorities of the Jewish religion. And he was doing all the ritualistic things and he was thinking that by doing some of the works I can please God. That is not possible, but it is possible to please God by faith in Jesus Christ after the encounter with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. After the encounter with Jesus Christ, he finds he found something that okay, I am not able to able to I mean please God by my works, but I can please God by believing in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 That's the reason we used to say that the persecutor of the Christians became the producer of Christians, right? The persecutor of the Christians became producer of Christians. Hallelujah. Persecuted. So that is what we understand. So the, the thing is, you know, we cannot please God. When, when God is standing, Jesus is standing in front of us as a, as a rock of offense. When? 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 When we are trying to uh, please God, please God with our works instead of faith. And the third thing is because of their rebellion. Okay. Stumbling block and the rock of offense because of the rebellious I mean, nature of the people. That's what we are reading in Hebrews chapter 3, verse I mean, 15. Okay, no time to read that. Okay, many times we know that uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the Old Testament we are reading about the, the history of the people of Israel. Many times they were rebelling against God. Many times, many times. When they were in need, when God was providing everything, at the same time, these people became rebellious to God. I mean, they were feeling that God is away from us. There are some times that we feel that God is away from us. We cannot approach God. 
we cannot approach god and we cannot uh, i mean go to the throne of grace because i mean i am a sinner and sometimes we feel that okay i mean god is not approachable god is not available but remember one thing god is always available hallelujah jesus is always reliable jesus is always i mean there to approach him but many a times we are away from god we are away from god that's the reason because of our rebellion because of our rebellion i mean many a times god and jesus is becoming i mean an an an, an offensive i mean i mean rock in front of us hallelujah praise the lord you know one more thing i want to tell you one thing from uh, acts chapter 26 verse 14 you know in uh, in uh, no 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 time to read okay acts chapter 26 verse 14 what is that verse you remember that verse jesus is asking to apostle to saul that saul saul why are you persecuting me Okay, and next sentence is next sentence is it is hard for you to kick against the pricks or gouts. Na na, Malayalam thiram da vakiyam. Ah, mullin na re, udhikin na de. Dinak ke veshu maana na liyo ichu ne? Aanu mone. Dinak ke veshu maana? Yeda mullin na re. ഉതയ്ക്കുന്നത് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്റെ അർത്ഥം എന്താ ഓ സോൾ യു ആർ എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് മാൻ ഗാഡ് വാസ് സെയിങ് നോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഹാർഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഹാർഡ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ കിക്കിംഗ് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് ദ പ്രിക്സ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ സം ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ കിക്കിംഗ് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് ദി ഗൗഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു ഐ മീൻ കിക്കിംഗ് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് ദ ഷാർപ്പ് സ്റ്റോൺ ഓക്കെ മൂർച്ചയുള്ള ഒരു സ്റ്റോണിനെ കുറിച്ച് അവിടെ പറയുന്നത് എന്തുവാ നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ നടന്നൊക്കെ പോകുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാറുണ്ട് ഏഹ് താഴെ ഒരു എന്തെങ്കിലും സാധനം കിടക്കുന്ന ഒരു കല്ല് കണ്ടാൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഒറ്റത്തോട്ട് കൊടുക്കൂലേ ഹലോ ഇവിടെ അല്ലേ നിങ്ങളെ ഓക്കെ സോ യൂഷ്വലി വി ഡു സംതിങ് യു നോ ഇഫ് ദർ ഇസ് ഇഫ് ദർ ഇസ് സ്റ്റോൺ ഇഫ് ദർ ഇസ് സംതിങ് സംതിങ് ദർ ഓൺ ദ റോഡ് ഐ മീൻ യൂഷ്വലി വി ഡു ജസ്റ്റ് കിക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് സപ്പോസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഷാർപ്പ് സ്റ്റോൺ വിൽ യു കിക്ക് ദാറ്റ് കിക്ക് ചെയ്യുമോ കിക്ക് ചെയ്താൽ എന്ത് പറ്റും വിവരം അറിയുന്നു കണ്ടോ കാല് മുറിയും ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദ സെയിം തിങ് ദാറ്റ് Jesus is saying to Saul mone nee ipo udakkunad edinu nerayana nee ipo kick cheyana edinu nerayana sharp aayittu nikkuna stone inu nerayana sharp aayittu nikkuna aa kallinu nere ninde kaalu kondu nee kick cheyal ninde kaalu muriyum ennal devathinte sanni samarpichal ninde or anugrahikkapada devathinte daasanaakki ninde maatam enna parne hallelujah praise the lord i don't know how many of you are i mean getting the meaning that the spiritual meaning of that word that uh, i mean jesus was saying mane please don't do that because you are kicking against jesus christ who is the sharp rock how jesus became the sharp rock ha itra murcha ullar oru 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 stone aayittu karthav engane maari ha ആ ആദ്യം ആദ്യം പറഞ്ഞ ഒത്തിരി ലിസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ടല്ലോ എന്തുവാ ഏഹ് ബ്രോക്ക് ആയിട്ട് ഇരുന്നിട്ടും ടെസ്റ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഇരുന്നിട്ടും എം ജി ഡി ആയിട്ടും അതെല്ലാം കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്തു നല്ല മൂർച്ചയുള്ള സ്റ്റോൺ ആയിട്ട് കർത്താവ് നിൽക്കുമ്പോഴാണ് ഇവൻ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആ കർത്താവിനെ നേരെ കിക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് പോസിബിൾ ദറ്റ് ജീസസ് യു കൻ ഡു ദാറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് യു ആർ കിക്കിംഗ് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് ദ ബ്രിക്സ് ഹലലൂയ സോ ലെറ്റ് എസ് കം ബാക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് സീസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ഫോർത്ത് പോയിന്റ് വി ആർ റീഡിംഗ് ഇൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് പീറ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ 2 വേഴ്സ് 7 ദാറ്റ് ഐ മീൻ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾസ് അൺബിലീഫ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾസ് അൺബിലീഫ് അവരുടെ അവിശ്വാസ നിമിത്തം എന്താ സംഭവിച്ചു കർത്താവ് അവർ കാരായിട്ട് മാറി ഏ ഒരു ഇടർച്ചക്കല്ലായിട്ട് അവർ ഇടറി പോകാനിടയായി ഒക്കെ ഒത്തിരി വിശദീകരിക്കേണ്ട വിഷയമാണെങ്കിലും ഐ മീൻ സ്വത്രം സമയത്തിന്റെ കുറവ് കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ പെട്ടെന്ന് അങ്ങ് പറഞ്ഞു വിടുകയാണ് ഐ മീൻ വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഇസ്രയേൽ വെൻ ദേ വെർ ക്രോസിംഗ് ദ റെഡ് സി ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ദി ജോർദാൻ റിവർ ഐ മീൻ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് നോട്ട് പോസിബിൾ ബൈ ദേർ ഓൺ പവർ ദേർ ഓൺ ഐ മീൻ ദേർ ഓൺ ഐ മീൻ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഐ മീൻ യു നോ ഇറ്റ് ദ റെഡ് സി വാസ് നോട്ട് ക്രോസ് ഇറ്റ് ദ റെഡ് സി വാസ് നോട്ട് ഡിവൈഡഡ് അൻറ്റിൽ ദേ വെർ ഡൂയിങ് സംതിങ് ബൈ ഫേത്ത് റൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ by faith when moses was stretching out his rod the red sea was divided and what about the jordan river when it was not divided until the 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 the, the, the priests were i mean i mean uh, putting or i mean uh, touching their 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 i mean feet on the on the water right till that day till that time it was not divided but by faith when they stretch out their hands and when they i mean stretch out or i mean i mean put their feet on the water the jordan river was 
divided hallelujah so when we are unbelieving something and when we are unbelieving in god hallelujah nammal avishwasigalayittu maarumbol kartavile vishwasikkada kariyumbol avan kartav namukku aarayittu maarum adu or block aayittu maarugiyana amen or offensive rock aayittu amen nammude or stumbling block aayittu nilkiyana that's what we are understanding and the fifth point is I mean, because they did not sanctify the lord in their heart what is that hmm? because they did not sanctify the lord in their heart read that verse maybe isaiah chapter isaiah chapter 8 verses 13 to 15 yeah <clears throat> we'll close with that yeah ഈ ഈ വാക്യം നിങ്ങൾ ബൈബിൾ തുറന്ന് വായിച്ചാൽ മാത്രമേ നിങ്ങൾ അത് മനസ്സിലാകത്തുള്ളൂ കേട്ടോ കേട്ടോണ്ടൊന്നും മനസ്സിലാകത്തില്ല ഈ വാക്യം നിങ്ങൾ വീട്ടിൽ പോയിട്ട് വായിക്കണം ഓക്കെ ഐ സി എ ചാപ്റ്റർ ഐ സി എ ചാപ്റ്റർ എയ്റ്റ് വേഴ്സസ് തേർട്ടീൻ ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഇസ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് യു നോ ഇഫ് യു ആർ സാങ്ക്ടിഫൈയിങ് ദ ലോഡ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഹാർട്ട് യു വിൽ ബി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ബ്ലസ്സിങ് ഓക്കെ യു വിൽ ബി ബ്ലസ്സിങ് ഇഫ് നോട്ട് ഇഫ് നോട്ട് യു ഗോ ടു ഫോൾ യു ഗോ ടു ബി ഡിസ്ട്രോയിഡ് ആൻഡ് യു വിൽ ഫേസ് മെനി other bad effects when you are not believing in jesus and if you are not sanctifying the lord in your heart endo nammala ee devathe vishuddhikarikkana nu parnjan artham endo devu vishuddhiyulla alle aa vakyam angane alle malayalathil endo parnjirikkune ningal ningal yehova endiye appo yehova nammal endina shuddhikarikkune hello ningal ivada alle eh sanctify the lord what is the meaning of sanctifying the lord how can you sanctify the lord you can sanctify yourself right you can sanctify uh, maybe maybe some other people but you cannot sanctify god namukku devathe shuddhirikkan pattuo kaaran deiva ara deiva endha parne njan vishuddhanaagiya ningal vishuddharaayiru pin be holy because i am holy ennaanu karthavu parnadhu appa deivathe vishuddhirikkan namukku pattathilla pakshe namukku endu cheyan pattum aa deivathe നമ്മുടെ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും വിശുദ്ധിയോടെ സൂക്ഷിക്കാൻ പറ്റും ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ വേർസ് ഇൻ വേർസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫീറ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ത്രീ വേർസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ റീഡ് ദാറ്റ് വേർസ് ഓൾസോ മേ ബി യു ക്രോസ് വി ദാറ്റ് ആ ഇൻ മലയാളം ഓൾസോ ഇക്കറി ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് മലയാളം മേ ബി ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫീറ്റർ ചാപ്റ്റർ ത്രീ വേർസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ hallelujah enough jesse thank you you know you know in 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 isaiah chapter 8 we are reading that okay jesus is the temple and jesus is the sanctuary okay so if you are trusting in the sanctuary i mean if you are believing in god and he will be a sanctuary for you ningalkku endha irikkum oru tirundivasamayittu maaru enna parnjirikkunnathu illengil ningalkku endha aayittu maarum it will become a rock of offense okay so that is what we are reading that jesus is the temple but the same temple will become a stone of stumbling if if you are not trusting in him if you are not minding in him and if you are not i mean sanctifying god jesus in your heart hallelujah so god is asking for everyone that sanctify jesus in your heart that means kartavane hridayathil sigirich endiya eh kartavane vishuddhiyodu kode avan sigirich vishuddhiyoda jeevikkuna oru vyaktiyoda jeevithil kartav anugraham aayirikkum otherwise he will be a defense or rock or he will be a stumbling block before the people those who are disobeying the commandment of god hallelujah so this morning i would encourage every person to be surrendered in the presence of god that he will be a blessing for you hallelujah remember 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 hallelujah when god jesus is a, okay, yes, yes let us let us i mean remember when close your eyes in the presence of god and i read out these things okay read out these points i'll let you close your eyes i mean let's all stand together in the presence of god and take a decision i mean let's go from here with a decision hallelujah let's go from here with a decision what is the decision let us not be disobedient in the presence of god let us not please god only by our works but by the faith 
Amen. Let us not be, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, what is that, uh, rebellious against God. And let us not be unbelievers or disbelieving people. Hallelujah. Let us sanctify Jesus in our heart. Hallelujah. That's what, uh, when Jesus was teaching his disciples, okay, Hallow be thy holy name, right? No? ിൽ Firmly placed, he who believes or who trusts in him, relies on him, will not be shaken. We are not the people to be shaken. I mean, I am calling the, 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 the worship team to come forward. We are not the people, we are not the people to be shaken. We are not the people to be shaken. ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് അപ്പോൾ let's always rely upon jesus whatever we need and whatever we are going through and i mean god bless you i mean through these words amen